Ever heard of the numbers of nature? Well, you really need to know about them because they're in everything. They're in plants, animals, the human body, artwork, and design, our DNA, the stock market, the planets, you name it. Nature's numbers are there somewhere. The guy that discovered them 900 years ago is the man from Pisa. No, not your pizza delivery guy. Pisa, the city in central Italy famous for the Leaning Tower, and this man. Leonardo Fibonacci, a nice Italian boy. These numbers of nature were, were so revolutionary that they bear his name even today. It starts with a simple sequence of numbers. So here's how they work. You start with zero and then one, and then you simply add the last two numbers together to get the next. So one, one plus one equals two, two plus one equals three, three plus two equals five, eight, and so on, to infinity. Now, when you divide any number by the one following it, you get what we refer to as the golden mean, 0.618. It's also called phi, and this is the number that's in everything. It's all through nature. It's all through the stock markets. It's in our DNA. It's in music, and it's been in architecture since before it was discovered. For example, the Parthenon, one of Greece's most prized assets. Well, if it's not owned by Germany now. It was built in the 4th century BC, many centuries before Fibonacci, and yet it seems to be proportioned closely to the golden mean. The lower portion is about 62% of the total height. The reciprocal is 382, and together these two numbers occur over and over in artwork because we humans find the ratio pleasing. For example, playing cards. That's right. 382 one way, 0.618 the other way. Now you can take that golden rectangle to humans. It frames the face and positions the eyes, nose, and mouth, for example. The belly button seems to generally divide the body into the golden section. You have five fingers, each one with three bones, perfectly proportioned to the golden mean. And you'll find the golden mean in our DNA. You can see the numbers of nature work in sunflower leaves. They arrange themselves in Fibonacci layers. There's the Fibonacci spiral, evident in hurricanes, seashells. It goes on and on and on. Now in the stock market, when stocks are trending, the waves they form are in ratios of phi. You'll find it over and over again, and many traders use it to trade quite profitably. So the markets are not random, as so many think. They're quite predictable. And where would these numbers of nature come from, do you think? Well, let's look to the heavens. The planets in our solar system are more or less separated in distance by the golden ratio. They actually follow more of a sine waves, but if you were to take the relative distances between them and average them, you'd find they come out to 1.618. Phi. Okay, that's weird. Now, we also know that we're affected by electromagnetic waves from the planets. We just don't know how exactly. But that's a thought for another video. So is God a mathematician? Well, there's certainly order to the universe, and as we delve deeper and deeper into science, we'll no doubt find out more of the answers. Fibonacci, another reminder that Mother Nature is really the one in charge.